Hey, hello friends. Once again, welcome to Ram Tube Academy. Please like and share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In one of my video, I already discussed the synthesis of noradrenaline and the adrenaline with all the structures involved in it. So, link is given in the description. You must go through it. In this tutorial, we will discuss the synthesis, storage, release, and the metabolism of noradrenaline. There are several steps involved in the adrenergic neurotransmission. In first step, amino acid tyrosine is actively transported inside the neuron through tyrosine transporter along with the sodium ions. Once inside the neuron, tyrosine gets hydroxylated in the presence of enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase to form L-dihydroxyphenylalanine that is L-dopa or levodopa. This conversion can be blocked by alpha methyl paratyrosine. Then, in the next step, L dopa in the presence of enzyme dopa decarboxylase converts into dopamine. This step can be blocked by alpha methyl dopa. Then, next step involves transport of dopamine into presynaptic vesicles, where dopamine in the presence of enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase converts into norepinephrine where it is stored to avoid degradation. Then in the next step, when action potential arrives at the nerve terminal, it opens the voltage gated calcium channels and allows the entry of calcium ions inside the nerve terminal. Increased level of calcium causes fusion of vesicles with the membrane and by the process of exocytosis, norepinephrine is released into the synapses. Once released into synapse, Norepinephrine has different fates. First, it can bind with the alpha or beta receptors present on the postsynaptic effector organs and shows its adrenergic effects. Second, it can bind with the presynaptic alpha 2 receptors which are inhibitory in response and hence activation of alpha 2 receptor causes decrease in the release of norepinephrine. Third, most of the norepinephrine is taken back into the presynaptic nerve through the another transporter known as norepinephrine transporter and from there it can be transported into the presynaptic vesicles for the storage. This transport can be blocked by the cocaine like drugs. Fourth fate, norepinephrine gets inactivated by the enzyme catechol o methyltransferase that is COMT and forms metabolite nor metaephrine. Inside the cytoplasm of neuron, it contains another enzyme that is monoamine oxidase which metabolizes norepinephrine into the 3,4-dihydroxymandelic acid. Then these two metabolites undergoes further reactions to form vanillin-mandelic acid, the major metabolite excreted in the urine. Ok friends, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you like the video. If you like, then like and share the video with your friends and comment below. And if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Goodbye.